Hey guys, Scrabbit's back, and today we're gonna see what's in this thing. So what this is is a I don't have to say it a, a do top, D U X T O P. It is an induction cooktop. Um, I've had this for a while, and I don't exactly remember where I got it. I think it's out of Bed Bath and Beyond's dumpster. Once in a while, I check that thing, but it must not work. Cause, and then they've they wreck things where I live anyway. They wreck stuff they put in the dumpster so it's unusable. And I'm, so it looks like somebody took a punch and punched all these buttons out. All these little plus and minus and heat buttons and things like that. So um, I don't know if it works or not. So we'll, we'll just have to, we're just going to take it apart anyway. I'm kind of curious. I've got no idea what's in this thing. I've never taken one apart. So let's see what we got in this thing. So first thing we're going to do, just cut the cord off and we'll set that thing aside it looks like just four screws maybe there's always more screws than you think right whenever you're taking something like this apart so this thing's probably three pounds so if you got you know e-waste scrap prices or you're able to um, or you're able to put this thing in with your um, with your tin shred, you know, you're probably looking at, you know, 15 to 25 cents a pound, you know, for the thing, depending on how much you get. But I want to know what's in this thing. Ooh. That's cool. That looks like all copper in there. And a fan. There's a big heat sink in here. All right. And again, if you guys don't have a pair of these things, think about getting a pair. You can get them for under five bucks on Amazon or eBay. Um, they're just for doing stuff like this. It just cuts through these kind of wires. It's it's so it's just so nice. They go so fast. Huh. So it looks like a little circuit board here that's probably got the push buttons on it. So let's get that off of there first. And one more. This is my all-time favorite screwdriver, this DeWalt screwdriver. I got this thing in a dumpster and it's the the best I've ever had. I mean it's just a, a, a great screwdriver. So this is a glass top piece. So that's not where it'd be worth nothing. We got a little low grade circuit board here. There's a IC chip that I'll probably take off of that thing. There's no sense in getting 10 cents a pound for low grade circuit boards when I can get, I think it's 450 a pound for the IC chip. I'll just throw it in my bucket of stuff that I send to board sort. Huh? That's pretty cool, this big copper coil on there. That is pretty neat. I, I was not expecting that at all. All right, so we got that off and we'll come back to that thing. So not all the time is this kind of UA stuff the right thing to do to take it apart and there's some things that I take apart that I probably shouldn't take apart but something like this I always know now I can I just know that this is worth more than anything than throwing it out so I just you know you, you learn that this is worth it this isn't worth it so on and so forth but I just got a nice little fan there that'll just go in with the computer fans Some junk wire right there. Let's get this heat sink off of here. I'll get the screw off for it anyway. That's probably attached to the board. And not surprising, we have, looks like we have just another low grade circuit board in here. I wasn't expecting anything too fancy as far as circuit boards go. I'm going to have to get these guys 
guys off here and get that other screw out. So that, these little nubs I would just throw in with my computer wire just because there's so much plastic on them. So I just tuck that in there in my computer bucket, computer wire bucket. Got a fan back here for the heat sink. Pretty straightforward to take these things apart though, which is nice. No big hidden screws and over the top stuff, you know, which just, you know, kind of makes things difficult to take things apart sometimes. Except now I've got a hidden screw back here because this thing is soldered on there, this heat sink. So I'll have to work on getting that. Oh, I see. Okay. There is, but it was just attached to the circuit board here. This would be much faster if I had my drill charged up. Oh. So, nice uh, heat sink, probably, oh, I don't know, quarter pound. Maybe a little bit more. So just set those over with my heat sinks. Now these little guys that are attached to heat sinks, um, they are most of the time copper. So you take your file to them. This one happens to not be. And that's copper in there. So if your scrapyard takes those, my, mine will take them as number two copper. So I do set those things aside. This is more of like a ferrite one, so that'll just go in with my scrap. Steel. Let's get some of these screws out of the way. So then on this board, I just have a little bit of wire. Um, probably knock these guys off. These will go into my transformers. Big ferrite core in there. But they'll take them as transformers. There's a little transformer here and a little transformer here we can knock off of there. Otherwise, it's just going to go as a junk low grade board. So, nothing big deal right there. But this is the interesting thing here. Let's see what I got to do. All right. Look at that. Just pops right off. Man, that is, I want a whole pile of these things, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Just like that. How do you beat that for ease? And that is all going to go as number two copper wire. It's candy coated wire. Right there. And that is a solid Boy, I'd say that's a pound, pound and a half easy. So that's probably, you know, three bucks, three and a half bucks worth of copper right there. So that's pretty easy to do right there. And these guys are easy to pop off of here.
pop these transformers off here if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, of course. You don't have to do anything you don't want to, of course. But it just, you know, you get more money for them, and it's that easy to take them off of there. So that's that. I'm not really sure what's under these blue things. Well, they're all kind of, I don't know, molded in there. So I'll just leave them on there. So that's that. So that'll just go into my low grade boards. I get 10 cents pound for that one. And we'll pop this. Let's see if it's. It'll let me off of it. It'll let that thing off of there. And then I just grab a pair of. You know, most pliers give it a little wiggle. It pops right off, so it's that easy, that easy to take off. Sometimes you can just grab them. The longer ones are a little bit more difficult, but you can just kind of grab them like that and give them a little twist, but these are a little more thick-legged chips. Just like that, so then that thing will just go into my low grade boards behind me. I got a little box IC chips that I keep over here, and those are just going to my transformers. That junky computer wire, junky computer wire goes in the bucket next to me over here. that cord off throw in there and I pull the brass out of them if I ever get bored if I don't I just throw them in with my tin shred but then you got a chunk of number or um, drop cord and that's it man but the prize in this thing is definitely the copper so that thing's pretty easy to take apart if you ever run across those things man you know it's worth taking them apart it only takes what six minutes five minutes to take them apart so if you run into them you know what to expect Thanks for watching my videos and we'll see you guys again soon.